rotors. The tubes or bottles containing the liquids to be centrifuged are held in place by the rotor. Rotor is the rotating unit of centrifuge. Rotor is the movable part of machine which separated the particles present in the sample. For low speed centrifugation, rotor is made up of brass or steel and for high speed centrifugation, rotor is made up of aluminium or titanium. The rotors are divided into several angular rotors and some horizontal rotors. The resistance in the horizontal rotors is larger than that in the angular rotors. Types of rotors. There are four types of rotors. They are vertical tube rotors, fixed set angle rotors, swinging bucket rotors and zonal rotors. The zonal rotors are further categorized into two types. They are batch type zonal rotor and continuous flow zonal rotor. The first type of rotor is vertical tube rotors. Vertical tube rotors are first introduced during 1970s for high speed and ultra centrifuges. Vertical tube rotors are commonly used in isopechnic centrifugation and density gradient centrifugation. The vertical tube rotor is a fixed zero angle rotor. In vertical tube rotor, the tubes are aligned vertically in the body of the rotors at all times. The yield of the rotor is not as ideal as the portion of the tube which doesn't align with the direction of the centrifugal force. Vertical rotors provide the shortest path length, fastest runtime and the highest resolution of all the rotors. In vertical tube rotor, the pellet is deposited along the entire length, length of the outer wall of the centrifuge tube. It is the major disadvantage because the pellet tends to fall back into the solutions at the end of the centrifugation. The second type of the rotor is fixed angle rotors. Fixed angle rotors are the most ubiquitous rotors used in the centrifugation. In fixed angle rotors, the tubes are placed at a fixed angle between 14 degree to 40 degree to the vertical. In this rotor, particles migrate to the tube wall before moving towards bottom. Pellets always asymmetrically distributed towards the outer aspect of the bottom of the tube. The cavities in these rotors range in volume from 0.2 ml to 1 liter with speeds ranging from single digits to 10 lakh relative centrifugal force. Two factors determine the type of fixed angle rotors required. They are desired g-force and desired volume. Fixed angle rotors are faster than other types of rotors as the path length of the tubes increases. The third type of rotor is swinging bucket rotors. Swinging bucket rotors are ideal for separating large volume samples up to 12 liter at low speeds. Swinging bucket rotor is common in low speed centrifuges and Swinging bucket rotors holds the tubes at an angle of 90 degree as the rotor swings as the process is started. Swinging bucket rotors has buckets. During acceleration of the rotor, they swing out from the vertical position to a horizontal position. Swinging bucket rotors are aligned perpendicular to the axis of rotation and parallel to the applied centrifugal field. In the swinging bucket rotors, the particles are present along the direction or the path of the force that allows the particle to be moved away from the rotor towards the bottom of the tubes. A swinging bucket rotor system consists of three parts. They are rotor body, buckets and trinoid pins. First, the rotor body attaches to the centrifuge drive and has four or six arms to support the buckets. Second, the buckets are placed onto the arms of the rotor body. Third, tonneau pins are used to hold the bucket in place. 
In swinging bucket rotors, long distance of travel may allow better separation. So, it is easier to withdraw supernatant without disturbing the pellet. The fourth type of rotor is zonal rotors. Zonal rotors were primarily developed and used for the separation of biological particles over a wide size range. Zonal rotors were successfully applied to the isolation of cells, organelles, viruses, ribosomes, serum proteins and DNA. There are two types of zonal rotors, namely batch type zonal rotor and continuous flow zonal rotor. The first type of zonal rotor is batch type zonal rotor. The batch type zonal rotor is extensively used for particle separation when compared to continuous flow zonal rotors. Batch type zonal rotors is designed to increase the sample size. Low speed batch rotors are designed to operate near 5000 rpm. The high speed rotors are made up of aluminum or titanium and can operate up to 6000 rpm. Batch type zonal rotors are used to remove the contaminating proteins from hormone, enzymes, ribosomes, viruses and tissues of plants and animals. The second type of zonal rotor is continuous flow zonal rotors. Continuous flow zonal rotors are designed for high speed separation of small quantities of solid particles from large volume of liquid suspensions. The continuous flow zonal rotors are similar in shape to the batch type zonal rotors but differ in the design. They are useful for the harvesting of cells and isolating viruses in large scale. Dear viewers, that's all about the different types of rotors in centrifuge. Thank you for your support. Thank you.